One Youngstown City Councilman has received complaints about personal items being taken from the Realty Tower. And at tonight's City Council meeting, he received an explanation of what was happening. With what was discussed, let's go live downtown to First News anchor Stan Boney. Stan. Well, the subject was brought up by Youngstown Councilman Julius Oliver. He had gotten a call from someone who lived in the Realty Tower, a female, a writer, and she claimed to Councilman Oliver that she saw a member of the construction crew take her laptop computer out of that building. And she, Councilman Oliver then wanted to know, and he asked the police chief, is the, is the police department doing anything about personal items being taken by the construction crew out of the building? But it was Mike Durkin, who handles demolitions for the city of Youngstown, who answered the question. He says when demolition companies get contracts to demolish buildings, they are entitled and they get everything that is inside that building. They can either remove it, take it and use it, or demolish it and put it in a landfill. Durkin gave an example of how demolition companies throughout Youngstown have gotten contracts to demolish commercial buildings. And when they go inside, they find antique cars and the demolition companies are allowed to keep those cars. That's when Councilman Mike Ray spoke up. He understood what Durkin was saying, but he was not happy with the process being involved, especially in the situation involving the Realty Tower. He says that no personal item should be allowed to be taken from this building. And he said that any personal item that is taken out should be returned to the rightful owner of that, of that item. Councilwoman Anita Davis then asked Mayor Tito Brown if he would contact the demolition company and ask them to please have their crew from refraining from taking personal items out of the building. Just leave them in place and demolish them or take them out and give them to the person that owns it. And Mayor Brown said he would do just that. Live in downtown Youngstown, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.